as you know, there's been this ongoing debate. Well, you, it's, it's not scientific. They're just these anecdotal accounts. And besides, you could never study this scientifically. And I always like to point people to your research. And I say, no, here's really a, a, a wonderfully simple experiment that was done Okay, so what I did was uh, over the, the period of five years, I interviewed for the first year, I interviewed every single patient who survived their admission to the intensive care unit. And I wanted to make sure that I didn't miss any patients. And what I found at the end of the first year was that I was actually spending longer in the hospital than I was at home. So I couldn't sustain that for the following five, four years. <laughs> So what I, found, what I did then is I narrowed down the kind of uh, the group I was interviewing. So I only approached patients who had undergone cardiac arrest and survived. And although the sample was uh, a little smaller than the first year, what I found is that in 30, out of 39 patients who had been successfully resuscitated, seven of them recalled a near-death experience. And that's, you know, it's nearly 18% of patients who survived cardiac arrest had this kind of experience. And what I also did is I documented their blood results at the time. I looked at the drugs that were given. And I also interviewed the, the staff members who were looking after the patients. So the nurses and the doctors, I asked them if, if it, one of the patients, if the patients reported the out-of-body component, I would then try and verify what it was that they wrote, uh, what they described, and I would I uh, verified that with the, the nurses and the doctors who were looking after them. Tell people about the control group, who is the people who didn't remember, right? Yes, that's right. So what I did with the control group, I had then patients who'd been successfully re resuscitated, but they didn't have a near-death experience or they didn't have the out-of-body component. And I asked them if they could describe what they thought that we had done to them. And, and they were which, like, what do you mean? I don't, I was dead. <laughs> I don't remember anything, right? Exactly. That's right. And they were saying, why are you asking me this? I have no idea what you did to me at all. I, and uh, the majority of them couldn't even guess. They couldn't make a guess as to what we'd done. And then a few of them then did make a guess, and it was based on TV hospital dramas that they'd been watching. And what I found was that there were errors and misconceptions in what they thought we had done to them. And so some of them thought that they had been DC shocked with the paddles, and they hadn't, those people had just had the resuscitation, the CPR, um, and drugs administered, such as adrenaline or noradrenaline. And then some of them made educated guesses, but the place where they thought that we'd put the paddles onto their body was completely erroneous. It was wrong. It was incorrect. So data, it, data, 